All right, what's up, boxing fans? It's Aztec 101. So this is a post-fight video for Bruce Carrington versus Brian De Gracia. Uh, this fight was on Saturday's undercard for Zayas versus Tejera. And this, I think this fight stole the show. Uh, there were a few elements that makes this fight stand out, which I'll get into in a little bit. Bruce Carrington, also known as Shushu, is 12-0. Uh, and 0. Uh, he's got eight knockouts. This, this, I, I get it to a lot of people that might be introduced to Bruce Carrington. Uh, as of recently, this seems like, you know, a thin resume. He is 27 years old, but he does fight like a seasoned fighter. So, uh, I have a feeling that we're going to see him fight high level competition really soon. Uh, he is moving up in the rankings which I'll go over that in a little bit. Bruce Carrington, I first want to talk about his fight. Um, I think he did well. He did what he had to do, and he was able to get the eight-round uh, TKO. Um, now, Brian Garcia, I, I, I'm, I'm saying this now. I know that he was outmatched, and I kind of knew when walking into this fight uh, what I was going to see because, you know, he... He hasn't fought since last year, and last year he came off a loss, right? And there's a lot of steam behind Bruce Carrington. He's one of the one of the contenders that you know a lot of people are keeping an eye out for because he has a, a fun style to watch. He's powerful. Um, he and he's a really good boxer. So there's a lot of skills with uh, Carrington that I want to see him be able to fight. You know, other featherweights that are ranked above him and the cool part about Carrington is I don't think we're gonna have to wait that long uh, he's ranked number four with the WBO uh, he's ranked number 12 with the IBF so I would start chasing those ranked in the top three with the WBO you know as soon as possible try to get him into a title shot I think he's ready I think he's ready and what was interesting in this fight was that he knew it was there visiting the undisputed champ uh, was there visiting and um, got to see his fight and actually you know uh, Bruce Carrington in a sign of respect came up to him and bowed and uh, you know he knew it waved back and he, he knew it left immediately after uh, now what did he have to make a flight I don't know or did he leave because he saw what he needed to see I we don't know but what's interesting is that earlier on on that card he knew it was being interviewed and he was asked are you looking to move up to featherweight and he said that when his body is ready you know that's when he'll move up but yeah you know it, it was a yes and you know i think it's it's something that's bound to happen uh, I know a lot of people are going straight into, you know, oh, Bruce Carrington versus Inoue, who would win, who, who would do what, blah, 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 blah. I, I, honestly, I don't think this is a good fight for Bruce to take on right away. Um, I would love to see him hold the title and uh, fight someone in featherweight first before taking on uh, Inoue. Uh, that's, a, that, that, that's something I would rather see. Uh, when he walks into that fight, he's not just a contender. He's not just, you know, Inoue's um, trial fight for the division. He's not a guy that's going to be stepped over. Uh, I would like to see him walk into that fight as the champion, you know, holding at least one of the titles. Um, but it's a it's an interesting matchup either way. Even if you think about it, Inoue is a lot is a bit smaller. His re he's not going to have a reach advantage. He's not going to have a height advantage. Uh, Bruce Carrington's pretty big for a featherweight. You know, he's tall. He's got a long reach. And uh, when he steps into the ring, he's bigger than his opponents. You know, he's he's pretty big for a featherweight. And and that that's going to cause problems, I think. I think he might be the biggest opponent that he knew us has faced if they do end up fighting. So, um interesting i think this whole uh uh new uh, class of fighters that are coming out are uh elevating divisions that you know most people don't pay attention to uh bruce carrington can go after rafael espinoza 
uh, that who's the WBO champion. I think that that would be a great fight for him, uh, and that would immediately elevate him into contention, immediate contention. As soon as uh, Inoue moves up, he's going to be a target because Inoue likes to collect titles. He likes to collect titles. So uh, holding a title, I think, is, is going to attract that fight. You guys let me know. Tell me what you think. How do you feel about Bruce Carrington? Uh, do, you, do you think that he passes the eye test uh, as of right now? Uh, and who would you like to see him fight next? Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.